Hey folks, the Robozoid here. Well, I've got another interesting little story for you. This story pretty much involves two unscrupulous characters, one on the right and one on the left. But since it's fun to make fun of the left so much, let's start with the one on the left before we get to the one on the right. And that, of course, is uh, Pelosi. It would appear that actually some YouTuber uh, <laughs> actually had uh, her house defaced, her garage door, and then the garage and then the uh, driveway defecated on. Yep, and I've got some footage of it. <clears throat> so, <laughs> yep, strap in. This is going to be a rough one. I mean, really, this silly old trout has been in Congress for 800 years, I guess. And now take a look at this headline. She wants to ban gender terms like mother, daughter, father, son, in-house rules. Yes, that's exactly what bad girl Ginsburg wanted to do until her dying day. Well, Pelosi, well, what Pelosi wants really isn't all that different. All you need to do is just read this. Read this thing here and you'll see what Pelosi's actual net worth is. That's worth more than you and I will ever see in our lifetimes. Do you think she deserves any of that money? <laughs> to me, not a scrap of gold. Not a single penny. Not to me. So this is some YouTuber. I guess his name is Mando. And, well, he's about to take a dump on Pelosi's driveway. Apologies if you're eating. But, well... There he goes, squatting down. Here it comes. The big one. <coughs> oh boy, he really did it. Looks like the same thing also happened to the Oakland mayor's mansion as well. I don't mean the shitting on the driveway, but certainly the graffiti written on the wall and on the garage door there. I mean, I really don't care one way or another if something like this has happened. I mean... Let's be honest here. When I heard this story on Salty Crackers' channel, I was laughing my ass off. I really was. I was laughing so hard, I honest to God started weeping. And you know me, folks. I am not really an emotionally demonstrative guy. Unless I absolutely need to be. Yes, they even spray-painted on her garage door. Some stuff here I can't make out, but the bottom says, We want everything. And you can see the anarchy sign right there on the side of the garage door. Right above the shit stain. Oh yeah, and also, of course, uh, basically red there to simulate blood, I believe. Is that what it is? Yep. Oh, and I want you to know that Pelosi's house <clears throat> was not the only one to basically get ransacked by folks like this. Oh, I see. It was a pig's head. That was pig's blood on Pelosi's driveway. Well, I guess that answers my question. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it is a pig's head. I was wondering what that was with all the blood there. See, I thought that was fake blood. No, that blood is real, because there's an actual pig's head there. <laughs> That's amazing. I guess since then it's been kind of covered up the garage door, the pig's head and blood cleaned off, I guess. But you know what? <laughs> Screw it. Couldn't happen to a kinder woman, at least not in my view. I suppose while we're on the subject, I should probably bring this up. Mitch McConnell, or as I affectionately call him, the Gobbler, had his house vandalized over the last week. Uh, you can see his pretty Christmas wreath on the door. But you can also see, if, if you can read it well enough, I believe it says, Where's my money? Since he blocked Trump's stimulus package. Yeah, not the one that would have included just 600 bucks for the peasants, as Pelosi wanted, but real money that Americans need. I suppose while we're on the subject, let's talk about this turkey. Yes, I call Mitch McConnell a turkey. And I also call him the Gobbler, just as Michael Savage would. Because, quite frankly, well, look at his chin. Look at it. <laughs> He's got a waddle, a turkey's waddle on his chin. Hell, when he talks, he even sounds like a turkey gobbling. Just listen for yourself. He's just another old establishment GOP politician who got lucky somehow. And that's the only way this guy has managed to maintain 
his presence, pretty much hiding behind the mask of self-righteousness, a guy who claims to be on the side of the little guy, who's supposed to be the party that represents the little guy now. But apparently in the case of the gobbler, boy, oh boy, was I... Wrong! That took a lot out of me to say. But it's true. I was wrong about this guy. He truly is one of the worst. Fundamentally, there is no difference at all between the two of these creatures, and you can take that to the bank. By the way, is it just me with the mask, or is it with the mask on? Does she look like all she needs to do is just extend her finger and thumb and pretend to say, stick em up? She does look like she's robbing a bank. Now, what is it about me that gets perverse pleasure out of this harsh stuff? I'm a harsh guy myself, I suppose. But anyway, I couldn't think of anyone nicer who deserved it. Yep, both Pelosi and McConnell. As I've called, I've called Mitch McConnell the gobbler, because the guy, honest to God, looks like a turkey. He sounds like a turkey when he talks, and I've already mentioned that waddle on his neck. <laughs> he truly is a Thanksgiving turkey. It's only January? Uh, hell. I guess I'm going to have to wait another ten months, I suppose. But, uh, <laughs> there you have it. Pelosi and McConnell have their houses basically, uh, basically defaced by Nazi fuck protesters, the uh, Blacks' lives don't matter, and people like of that nature who want more and more and more. And like I said, Pelosi was the one who said be destructive. She's got a taste of her own medicine. I'll let you back. This is what Robin would say. Like I said, I saw this video 